I brought you into my mind to share what I've remembered so far. My brain's all yours. Try not to let its brilliance overwhelm you. A last name will also be required. Perhaps Kent. Oh, in memory of Dr. Fate, the late Kent Nelson. Of course. Okay, sure. I guess it'd be an honor or something. Well, Connor, Kent, time to change your shirt. You want to reveal your identity. Wait, shouldn't I be Connor Nelson? I know you understand. What's in the duffel? Plan B. Plan B. The helmet of fate. Surrender, sorcerer! You cannot hope to defeat a lord of order! I can defeat you, and I will! He can't! Snatow Noir! Fear not! Fate has intervened! What were you thinking? How could you let him put on the helmet? Nabu will never release him now. Calder will be trapped inside Dr. Fate forever. Nabu let you go? He almost did not. But your friend Kent was most helpful. He says hello. We're done here. Impressive. The plant creatures have proven their usefulness as potential weapons. More importantly, the so-called heroes now believe our secret society has been revealed and crushed. I finally got through to Atlantis. No adults there either. So, just how desperate are we? I mean, this thing could definitely come in handy. Yes, but we both know anyone who dons the helmet and allows Nabu to possess him may never be released from being Dr. Fate. So, not that desperate. Not yet. Guys! Yes. Emily Follett, happily ever plus Roy! And we win! That's all I needed to know. <gasps> Satana! She did what? Go back there. Right now, I know. The sooner we end this, the sooner you can help your daughter. Keep the bad guys distracted. I have an idea. Boy, I 
sure don't make evil immortal sorcerers like they used to. Oh well. Fun while it lasted. Pico! Aren't you gonna stop him? To what end? Clarion is chaos personified. He cannot be contained. Uh, did we win? At a cost. Fate! Great, Nabu. Release my daughter. No. Witness the havoc wrought in these hours. The world needs Dr. Fate, and the girl's natural affinity for the mystic arts makes her the perfect candidate. You can't do that! She has her own life to live! Ken would never allow you- Kent Nelson did object strenuously, so I released his spirit to the afterlife. He is gone. Take me instead. My skills are already at their peak. My body is physically stronger, better able to withstand the strain of your power. All true. But if I remove the helmet, what guarantee have I you will don it? Take care of my girl. Kid Flash! Everyone is here. Another expansion of the League could generate another escalation of hostilities from our enemies. Icon for League membership. As does his protege, Rocket. Guy Gardner. Is he? Red Arrow has been uncooperative and disrespectful. If we reward that behavior... That seems myopic. I have been one with Kid Flash and Aqualad. Both are ready. And what of Zatanna? Absolutely not! That sounded almost protective, Doctor. At least we know Zatara is still in that helmet somewhere. Why is Doctor Fate a member? You coerce Zatara into giving up his life to you, or else lose his daughter instead. Not cool. Should such behavior be condoned? Zatara desires Dr. Fate to remain with the League. Oh, please. It is true. Zatara's trust in Nabu is measured. He desires the League to maintain a close watch upon us. Plastic Man. Then here are our candidates for new or continued membership. Experience, age, temperament, and background. Trust to fight beside us. Trust to have our backs. Trust to uphold the high standards and ideals of the Justice League. All those in favor of ratifying the results? Aye! Aye. Then we are adjourned. The Justice League was formed for two reasons. First, as an acknowledgement that no single individual, no matter how powerful, can solve all the world's problems alone. And second, to uphold the values of truth, liberty, and justice. That uh, last one's even in the name. These five heroes have sworn to uphold those values. You are watching live coverage of the Justice League's induction of its five newest members. Superman is now handing out official League membership cards, starting with Dr. Fate. So there you have it. The world's officially a safer place. Hey, hey, Superman! Superman, one question! Over here, you Superman! Superman. Well, we're glad to be joining the UN! Arrow. How hard will it be treating your ex-sidekick as an equal? His secondary programming kicked in. And once I had satisfied its last parameter... I'm sure Savage planned to Starro Tech me. Two, zero. Doctor Fate. One, seven. Captain Marvel. One, five.
recognized. Captain Marvel, one, five. Icon, two, zero. Doctor Fate, one, seven. Too bad Cure Tech doesn't work as fast as Star Tech. We could use these guys. It is a small miracle Queen Mira and Doctors Roquette, Spence, and Volko were able to re-engineer a cure and vaccine at all. Hey, if you guys aren't busy... On my way. You three rendezvous with Robin and Superboy. Ah! Oh. Tim Lee and Kelly are you three times. I can save Fate from Savage, but I still can't save my father from Fate. For more information on Bad Girls Club, go to Oxygen.com.